I think it's safe to say the maze trials were a complete success. It's too soon to say, but they could be the key to everything. It's time now to begin phase two. You know, you're, you're, you're the in-between of the beginning and the end, you know? So um, we had to make sure that we're kind of, you know, uh, telling that kind of consistent story and still building up to a final end, but we still have to kind of somewhat have a, a three-act, you know, arc to this thing. So that was a little bit of a challenge, but so I watched a lot of Empire Strikes Back, which I always thought this was kind of like an Empire Strikes Back. This was an on-the-run movie. It was a journey movie. We're going through a lot of different locations, seeing a, a whole new world, basically, you know, opening it up further, you know. Welcome to the Scorch. The world outside is hanging on by a very thin thread. Beyond this door lies the beginning of your new lives. I saw him in, obviously, Game of Thrones. That's where I knew him from. And obviously, although, also the, uh, the, the, the Batman, the last Batman, too. Um, and The Wire before that from HBO. So I've been a fan of his for a long time. And, uh, and when I signed on to do this movie, I immediately asked to get Aiden, you know, get Aiden. And for a while, it wasn't going to happen because he was doing Game of Thrones. And so I was like, uh, uh. and then finally, someone, they knew how much I liked him and how much I wanted to bring him in. So my casting director, eventually, she pulled some strings or something and got him in. And then, you know, finally, it was, it was a thrill, man. He's like, he's such a, an amazing actor. Um, and just the subtlety, and it was, it was so interesting to kind of work with him and find, you know, what the camera likes, essentially, with an actor like that. And it's all about the close-up. He's so subtle in his kind of, you know, facial expressions and his little tics and things, and it's just, it's just fun to watch him. What do you remember about Wicked? I remember they sent me into the maze. I remember watching my friends die in front of me. Don't you want to understand? Understand what? Why this all happened. I just need to know, whose side are you on? All our new casts, honestly, has just been, I think, a real thrill. I mean, I got lucky again with these newcomers that came in. Um, you know, John Carlo and Barry Pepper, and of course, you know, Rose Salazar plays, you know, Brenda. I think we, you know, did a great job again with the casting. They lied to us. We never escaped. It's all just been part of their plan. What do they want from us? The maze is one thing. The two kids won the last one day out in the scorch. I still look back on the movie and see all the things that I couldn't do, or the things that you know I, I ah, you know, if only I could have done that better. Um, but I think they people have kind of responded to kind of the the sense of realness and the seriousness that we kind of the approach that we took to it, and um, how we tried not to make a kids movie. Basically, we tried to make this a movie, you know, with young people in it. And so I think it, it found like a, a bigger audience than we were expecting originally. You know, one thing for sure I wanted to do was you know expand our set pieces a little bit. You know, there was something I wanted to do. It's something I always loved about Spielberg movies is those set pieces. They were really great little ballets, these little dance between camera and the actors and the story and the actual you know, suspense and thrills. And the, and the longest scene we had in the first Maze Runner was you know, like two and a half minutes. And some of these sequences are like eight, nine minutes long. And that's really difficult to do to kind of keep the audience's attention, you know, and still kind of have the fun and the story that kind of unfolds in those. So that was a little challenge that I set my, for myself just a little bit to set up the ante there. Um, and it was, I think, you know, I'll look back on it and probably say, oh, I did something wrong there. But, you know, that was the challenge. I think we had a lot of fun trying to hit that, you know. What the hell? Uh, ours is PG-13, of course, uh, in America, and that's kind of what we were hitting. That's what we were trying to target. And it was a little bit of a dance, a little bit of balance, but I'm a big fan of the movies that I grew up on as a kid. I think the, the kids will be fine. It's, it's the parents who, have, like, will feel a little worried, I probably, but um, uh, I think there's nothing gratuitous. You know, there's nothing super gruesome or anything. It's just kind of intense, you know, and there's nothing wrong with that, I don't think, to be a little bit on the edge of your seat, you know, having a good time and a lot of thrills in the audience. You know, it's it's the roller coaster ride that we all go for, you know, so we're, we're gonna, we'll see. Hopefully we're not, we didn't go too far. The course of your lives will determine the course of humanity into light or darkness.